Holy cow, it is the 28th of July and it has just been busy around here. So, so busy, it's crazy. So uh, we got, uh, uh, today was mostly a day uh, for me to do video work. We've been so busy with social engagements all week that I really wanted to just sit and do nothing. So Marcella and Valentina headed back to uh, Managua today, pretty early this morning, uh, cause she's gotta get back to school and stuff and they got a bunch of things going on. The kids are going camping this week. So they're in Managua this week and uh, uh, Dominic and I have no social engagements today so we don't have to do anything. Thing. I have one errand that I did for the kids this afternoon, and that is it for me. I am out and just, I am checked out, taking the day off, sequestered in my office, turned on the AC. Even though I slept last night without AC, I didn't have AC fan or window, nothing. For those who sometimes question, is it, it's so hot. How do you live down there? Sometimes I don't even turn on AC when I'm sleeping and I sleep in a pile of dogs and I'm fine right now. <laughs> Today, I just I just got in my office. I did a couple quick videos, but really minor stuff. I had a couple questions to answer for people. That was nice and relaxed. Went in, did uploads all day. Had so many uploads to do. Uploads to Rumble, because that's my backups. I did uploads of the GoPros, because I had so much stuff recorded, just getting that all uh, managed. Just, just file management was a huge part of my day. Uh, and I managed to get like four or five videos edited and uploaded throughout the day. In the middle of the afternoon, the girls, as they always do, wanted coffee today from Casa del Cafe because they have a new snickerdoodle thing that the, the kids want to try. So I ran out to get them snickerdoodle. Uh, um, we call them granitas. It's like um, it's like smoothies almost. It's it's kind of between a smoothie and a milkshake. It's definitely a sweet coffee chocolatey kind of thing, uh, normally with pieces of stuff in it, hence the name. Little Tiny Pebbles is kind of what it's named after, I think. Uh, and iced coffee for Liesl. But they had this snickerdoodle thing that they've been wanting because I had seen it at the mall and sent them pictures. So I went out to Casa del Cafe way downtown. It was a good drive. But I'm like, you know what? Liesl's way behind on school. She's in big trouble because she has not been keeping up with her schoolwork. So she's grounded. She's not allowed to go out for coffee or anything for a few weeks uh, while she's supposed to be catching up on school big time. Luciana, however, is like done. Like she has a couple finals to take, one class with some homework left. Like she's ahead of the game and Lisa is way behind so so Chana but Chana is feeling pretty sick she has a cold and has been for about three days feeling pretty badly so uh we're hoping she's going to be getting better soon it's been kind of going around everybody's been a little bit sick Marcella is still sick she's been sick for a couple weeks Dominica and I had it but we're mostly over it I'm definitely over it but uh uh so so I went out and of course, today is the second day of the Azul Dario uh, uh, Festival here in town, which is the Ruben Dario, basically the William Shakespeare of Spanish, more or less. Uh, and, and he's from this town, like the, the street behind me is Ruben Dario, the Ruben Dario Museum in his childhood home is down the street, right? So this is a big, big town for Ruben Dario. So his festival is held here. It's a huge event for two days. I did film some of it yesterday. So hopefully if you guys are interested, go check out my, my real channel, Scott Allen Miller Vlog on YouTube. Um, and... Uh, 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 hopefully that'll turn out okay. I think it's going to be okay. We got some good footage. It's interesting. It's not my favorite festival, but it is neat. Um, I, I find it interesting the, how big it is for, for what it is that they put on here. Um, but so they hadn't planned for this. I don't think at Casa del Cafe, I got there, the place was quite busy and they were out of everything. Dominica wanted banana bread. They were out of that. The girls wanted orange bread. They ran out of that. They wanted, uh, the snickerdoodle iced coffee ran out of that. They wanted the snickerdoodle granita ran out of that. I was able to get them like nothing. I got like a few little, oh, they wanted, uh, the cheese sticks. They're basically the Venezuelan cheese stick style thing and a slightly Nicaraguan twist on it out of those. They had nothing. We wanted nothing. And not even our backup stuff that they have. So I grabbed a couple like conciliatory items from there and then drove to Dr. Coffee. So Casa del Cafe is way on the far side of downtown in the middle of heavy traffic and construction. Dr. Coffee's right down the road. So this is a lot of driving around. I spent a lot of time, ended up going to Dr. Coffee, got them stuff there, came back with that. That was my only trip out for the day. I just called it a day. I was thinking about going out to the beach uh, for dinner, um, but ended up not even doing that. I, but I did get a lot of work done and I'm feeling really good about <clears throat> being so caught up on the show. I did, I'm going to mention this a few different places, but I did decide to go out and invest in vidIQ. I had played around with it, decided not to get it, and then decided to just bite the bullet. I got the the sale, so it's a little bit off. It was very little. Um, but uh, it only has to make me about 50 cents a day to justify uh, it for the year. Uh, so we'll see, right? I'm going to give it a year because it's a year subscription um, and see 
if I think it's beneficial. The one thing that I think it does, this is only for my Scott Allen Miller vlog show. It, you have to buy it for every channel. So it, that's the only one that matters. Uh, but it really forces me to be a bit more intentional about a lot of things that I do on there. It forces me to think about things. So even if it's not providing a ton of value on its own, like, and like it's not telling me stuff I need to know, necessarily maybe it is uh but it really makes me stop and think about things that i do and it basically gives me a checklist that it checks in on me all the time and is like are you doing this are you doing that and it gives me some information about my competitors and helps me research what they're doing that's not a bad thing so maybe it's actually a good tool and i just need to have enough time with it to realize how i'm going to use it so i'm giving it a year it's not very expensive right it's under 200 dollars for a year so we're going to give it a try and after a year, evaluate whether or not we think it was good or not, and we will see. So that was my day, basically a full day sequestered doing uh, doing um, channel work and, and video editing and such, uh, which was good. I feel really good about it, and now uh, I'm ready to head into the week and hopefully have a productive week. So see you guys tomorrow.